Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. You know, I posted a video and I talked about a shooting that took place last year. And uh, that's when uh, Officer Philip uh, Brailsford shot to death Daniel Shaver. Read another article on the Daily Mail. I'm going to attach the link, you're not going to have to look for it. Please don't kill me. Cop is cleared of murder after shooting dead a sobbing father of 26 as he crawled along the hotel corridor in shocking footage which his family insists shows a cold-blooded execution. Warning, extremely graphic content. Ex-Mesa cop Philip Braceford, 27, was found not guilty of second-degree murder in the January 216 shooting death of Daniel Shaver. Schaefer was staying at La Quinta Hotel in Mesa for work when police responded to a call that someone was pointing a gun out the window. After the verdict was announced, officials released a video of the encounter. In it, Schaefer, who was unarmed, can be heard sobbing and begging Brailsford, please don't shoot me. Brailsford opened fire after Schaefer reached toward the waistband of his shorts to pull them up, saying he thought the victim was reaching for a gun. All right, so here's a couple of questions and a couple of issues and a couple of concerns. It says, after the verdict was announced, officials released a video of the encounter. I assume that the jury was shown those videos. And if they were shown those videos, how could they have come to the decision that they came to? Now here's something else that's interesting. Schaefer was staying at La Quinta Hotel in Mesa for work when police responded to a call that someone was pointing a gun out the window. Well, I called the La Quinta Hotel in Mesa, Arizona at 480-844-8747. And I inquired about a room that would allow me to open the windows since I enjoyed fresh air when I slept at night. None of their windows open. So this begs the question, how could someone have been pointing a gun out the windows if the windows didn't open? Hmm? A lot of people also thought that uh, the police officer, Philip Brailsford, was giving the instructions. He wasn't. There was four other officers there, a total of five officers. I don't know if they were SWAT. I don't know what they were. You know, it's interesting. The range that I shoot at, I've met SWAT officers from Mesa. I've met them from Tempe, Arizona, and Chandler. Not only have I met them, I interacted with all of them. I allowed them to shoot my 6.5 Creedmoor. I might have shot with Philip Brailsford. Now he's the one that had on his dust cover, on the inside of his dust cover, the words inscribed, you're fucked. This guy has some serious mental issues. Folks, if this is true and those windows can't be opened, why were the police there to begin with? Hmm? Watch the video. Again, it's very graphic if you haven't seen it. And as far as I'm concerned, Daniel Shaver was executed. Whether he was pulling his pants up, there was no reason to put three or four or five rounds from a 223 or 556 five, into him. He was slaughtered by a trigger happy cop. That's sort of what I think. Do your own research. I have. If the windows don't open, which is what the clerk just told me, why were the police there to begin with?